Our first clip of the day was submitted to our Slacktam subreddit by user Signal Airport 9521. According to the OP, this footage was recorded on a security camera at the Hibbert Sports Store in Kansas City, Missouri in the USA, where the Redditor works as a security guard. The security guard swears that they saw some merchandise moving on its own, so they reviewed the footage from the security cameras to see what really happened. There are a few customers and employees in the store, but there's no one standing near the set of shelves on the left-hand side of the screen. A few seconds into the footage, a pair of shoes seem to leap from the shelf completely on their own. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They oh, then the slide several feet across the tiled floor before coming to a stop. Oh, ba, 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 teka, teka. Teka. The staff members on the right even stop to have a look at what's just happened. Molto. That's a good six feet that that shoe... Molto, ha, molto. And then it bounced six feet. The security guard notes that the shoe was sitting on a flat rack, so it's unlikely that it would just slide off the shelf with gravity. Whoop. So what do you think made the shoe fly off the rack? Was it Hibbert's low, low prices, or could it have been a ghost? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Wag kayo mas wag wag kayo dito, kasi ano eh tal dito. Nasa shopping lang yung multo, oo kaya wag kayo mas matakot ha. Blow. Pero mall yan, no? Tapos magtata, mag, ano, na ganun. Ang ina na may nagbubulto. Patay tayo ka. In this video, from YouTubers The Ghost Runners TV, something eerie seems to take place during a paranormal Ayun, investigation. Throughout the footage, the investigator uses a spirit box, a type of device used in an attempt to communicate with any spirits that may be nearby. In the first few seconds of the footage, a mysterious voice can be heard coming through the static. Who's down here? Stranger. Stranger. It seems to be saying stranger, perhaps referring to the investigator. Stranger. Stranger. Who said that? <laughs> the voice then says, who are you asking? Indicating that there may be multiple spirits present. Multiple. I'm asking you. Who are you? Evidently, the investigator is looking for a particular spirit, asking, where's Dante at? Where's Dante at? Seconds later, a childlike voice replies. Ay puta, may bata. Patay tayo dyan. It sounds like it says, hey there. Even their second camera picks up the unknown voice. Oh, bata. Sabi ng bata, hey there. Patay tayo dyan. Is that you, Dante? Is that you, Dante? The investigator later asks what the spirits are doing there. No, the voice gives an answer that's no, quite salamin. disturbing. What's up doing here, bro? The devil. It then sounds like the voice says en la pierna, which means on the leg in Spanish. Moments later, he feels a mysterious hand touching his leg. When they review the footage later, they notice that they may have captured numerous orbs of light throughout the hunt. Where's Dante at? Try nyo mo mag ganyan, put, mag, um, uh, umupo kayo sa dilim. Tapos may camera kayo, may flashlight, tapos tingnan nyo nga kung may orb. Tapos sabihin nyo sa akin kung may orb kayo makikita. Kasi feeling ko, sabi kasi ng iba gabok lang yun eh. So ayoko na maitry kasi natatakot ako. <laughs> kayo nalang magtry. Many paranormal believers claim that orbs are the most common way for spirits to manifest, as it's thought that they require the least amount of energy. 
Hey, do you know what I'm talking about? Did this paranormal hunter encounter a ghost or something much more sinister, like a demon? Share your theories on this one with one another in the comments down below. What the fuck just touched my leg? What? Nangahawak ng legs? Tapos ni Badi niya tato, Badi nangahawak ng legs. This footage was recorded somewhere in Thailand in what appears to be the ground level of a parking facility. The presence of a wheelchair on the left-hand side ooh, of the screen ooh. suggests that it could be part of a hospital or a care facility. Now keep your eye on this very wheelchair. Uy, gago. Gago, lumilikupan. Ay, shi. May tao dito. Ito, 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 You may be thinking that it might have been blown by the wind. If the wheels yeah. were turned and the ground was sloped slightly, a strong breeze could have made the wheelchair move. But watch what happens next. Ito sunod pa. Hindi to hangin, hindi hangin to. Oh, maatras pa. Oh! Nagmani o brabo cha. The wheelchair stomps and the wheels seem to be adjusting position on the ground completely on their own. After pausing for a few seconds, the wheelchair begins rolling backwards in a completely different direction from how it was just rolling. Tong inagbani obre no, hindi nga naman siya maka Hindi nga naman siya maka, ano, makapunta doon kasi para may hams. So, aatras siya. Galing, may utak yung wheelchair. Even if the wind could have caused the first roll, how did the wheelchair change direction all on its own? Some viewers have speculated that someone might have died in this very wheelchair and now their spirit is bound ako, ako to it, making wheelchair. it move ako, even ako in the afterlife. Wheelchair. Ako, ako sa wheelchair. Ako sa wheelchair. The last thing a stressed out new mum needs to worry about is something creepy lurking around her home. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened to Jamie Jackson. It all began with a photo of her breastfeeding her new baby. The photo was taken by her now ex-husband before the days of digital cameras. When the photo was taken, I was horrified to notice that Jamie and the baby didn't seem to be alone in the picture. A neary face oh, is looking in at them through the Gago, nakita nyo. Hindi, hindi kayo dyan kasi nakatingin kanina eh. Kung saan kayo nakatingin eh. Ayun oh. Oh. Here by window. Nambubos itong gagong to. The face is pure white. We can only see it in profile so its features aren't very detailed. According to Jamie, the window leads to the apartment's balcony. The apartment is on the second floor of the building so it's impossible that someone was merely walking by and peering in. Her ex-husband had been on the balcony having a cigarette mere minutes before the photo was taken, so they're certain that there was no one on the balcony when he came in. Viewers have multiple theories about the photo. Some think it's some sort of spirit or entity. Others think it's likely a peeping Tom in a mask. Oh, Either way, the photo is enough to send chills up your spine. But what do you think's going on in this picture? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. In September 2017, residents of Salt Lake City, Utah in the USA were driving home from dinner when they spotted something unusual in the sky. Take a look. Anyan? Oh, in a UFO na naman to. Oh. Kasi kung, kung aeroplan niya, hindi niya kaya tumigil sa air. It's dark and mostly clear. There are three bright white lights hovering far up in the air. Boss Bino, tambay ka lang dito, Boss Bino ha. At first, they look like round dots of light. But then they begin to move. Gagi, hindi aeroplano to, kakaiba oh. What is that? I no what are those? I have no idea, it's so cool. That's insane. They're, they're turning direction. I know, it's like control or something? Yeah. Oh my god. 
The spots of line move in random directions with no apparent pattern. When they move, the white light streaks behind them, giving the appearance of meteors or comets flying through the air. According to the people who recorded the footage, the lights were visible for a little over two minutes before they disappeared. Bakit tayo? Wala tayo makitang ganyan dito, no? Kung tayo may, may nakikitang ganyan dito, nako ay tontuan na naman ang mga marites niyan kinabukasan. So what are these strange lights in the night sky? Passing satellites wouldn't be so vivid, nor would they move in different directions. The same goes for skydivers holding flares. They wouldn't move around so erratically or be able to pause and change directions. They could be drones, but then again, they could be something a little more mysterious like aliens, as a lot of viewers suggested. So where do you sit on this Salt Lake City siding? Love to hear your theories on this one down below. Gago, alien to. Parating ng Avengers. Psychotherapists say that arachnophobia, or the fear of spiders, is one of the most common phobias in the world, and this video may give some ideas as to why. In this footage, we see the six-eyed sand spider, one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Native to Africa, South well, America, and Central America, these spiders can grow up to 20 millimeters in length. Its venom has the unique property of inducing hemolysis, cytotoxicity, and dermonecrosis. In other words, after this spider bites you, your blood, skin, and other organs will begin to rapidly die. However, the person who filmed this footage hopes that you aren't frightened of the spider. After all, it only typically releases its venom to capture small prey and is very shy, preferring to hide rather than fight. In fact, this particular spider, which we see here burying herself in the sand, is actually the pet of the person who recorded the video and has apparently never been aggressive. Despite these reassurances, I doubt many arachnophobes would be happy to see this spider coming towards them, or have it buried in the sand right next to their tootsies. So how would you feel about a confrontation with this eight-legged, six-eyed friend? Ay, Diyos ko, bibili ako. Sa kaya nakabili ito, baka bili ako. Before we take a look at a creepy photo, take back scary and mysterious videos. Number one na. Do you ever feel like someone's watching you? Have a good look around. You, like Maria D, may turn out to be right. She was on her lunchtime break around Sleepy Hollow, New York, home of the infamous Headless Horseman, when Loko. she and her friend snapped a few photos of the beautiful fall foliage. When they reviewed the photos later, they noticed something odd. In the first photo, they appeared to be alone, just as they thought they were at the time. However, in the second photo, things appeared to have changed. In the distance, near the water, there appears to be a man watching them through the tall grass. Only his outline is visible. But when you zoom in, it definitely seems to be the silhouette of a person. However, the edges of the silhouette are blurry, almost as if he's Made of shadow. So how could he have appeared so suddenly? And how is it possible that the women never spotted him on the walking trail? Some viewers believe it's just an ordinary person and the women never noticed. Others think it was actually a leaf or other piece of foliage creating a pareidolic mirage. However, given that the figure appeared and disappeared so suddenly, some viewers are certain this photo shows a ghost. See, so yeah, shout out kay Sky Z sa Azar. Present boss, musta Christmas party. Okay naman, alas dos na ako nakauwi. Oo, oh, oh. thank you sa yung super chat ha.